Buenos dias. Happy Easter and God's blessings to you and your family. I hope you all had a, a safe Easter um, free from any flu or viruses. And if you did have it, I hope it was not anything that will hamper your health because I know we are also in the season where allergies are up. So some of you might be sneezing. So don't forget to take your vitamin C, eat your fruits and vegetables. And once again, I would like to thank all the parents, um, grandparents, aunts, uncles who helped out last term. So we are in term three, race. So we're going to do our craft today. And with your help and my help, we will create some awesome work. Okay, so let's see what are we doing today. Screen share. So Easter time is a time of life. I'm sure you can hear in the background all the birds singing, right? It's a celebration time and we celebrate the time of the birth, the, the resurrection of our Lord. So at Christmas time, we have a Christmas wreath. So at Easter, how about having our own wreath as well? Let's have an Easter wreath, let's celebrate that Jesus is alive. So you're taking your drawing book page, right? Landscape and folding it in half, right? In the middle like this, you fold it in half. Then you're gonna use a toothbrush and you're gonna put some paint on the toothbrush, pass your finger on the toothbrush and sprinkle. Don't do all at the same time. So I used, pink, blue, and yellow. First, I did my page with pink, wash the brush, blue, wash the brush, yellow, right? So that was done on the first half. So this is what it looked like. We're like, I only have the pink here, all right? Then I want you to show me at least four different designs of lines whether you have straight, curves, circles, crosses, I want you to show me on the other half your designs, okay? Anything but your lines. So it could be zigzags, it could be crisscross, all right? And I want you to choose bright colors, no browns, no blacks. I want bright colors because Easter is a celebration time. When you go outside, you would see all the bougainvilleas are in bloom, all the flowers are in bloom. You'll see all the pretty colors. So I want you, when you're choosing your colors, choose bright colors. All right. On a separate piece of paper, you could use paper or you could use cardboard. I want you to fold it in half, draw an open C, cut on the folded paper what will we get? An oval, right? So your oval is a template for the page that we have just decorated. So we have here the sprinkles and on this half here, the lines which you would design and create, okay? You trace out as many as you can using that oval template. Put that aside, leave that for a while. And you will make a frame using a dinner plate and a saucer. So you will get a circular frame. So here's my dinner plate, here's my saucer, and this is the frame I got for my wreath. Added to that, you would have your cross with your white cloth. You could draw the heart in the middle if you want. You are the designer. But the cloth on top of there, I use napkin to represent that Jesus, when they went in the tomb, they did not see him. Also, I had some extra bits of cardboard, which I colored in the colors that I sprinkled, just to add a little more to what I am doing, okay? So in the colors that you use for sprinkling, you will make ovals in that color, just a few, all right? 
So on the frame, I laid on my foundation. So here I have my cross with the cloth, and here I have my extra eggs, okay? Then I put on all the other eggs which we created. So your wreath would look like this, okay? Now, I am giving you the option. If you want, you could add um, a ribbon here, a bow. If you want, you can add bunnies. You could add flowers. You could add butterflies, okay? So when we think about Easter, we think about nice, pretty things. We think of ribbons, right? Because we normally have, had it not been for COVID, we would have an actual Easter bonnet parade. So that is where we'll have ribbons, or you might have butterflies, or you might have flowers. So some of you might have those things home, or you could create those things and add it to your wreath. Once again, remember it is now a way of life safe practices remember to wash your hands with soap and water always remember to wear your mask and social distancing and one thing i want to add girls eat healthy all those fruits because right now there are a lot of fruits in season there's pomerac oh my gosh there's pomerac in season eat it it is good for you. Build up your resistance. You have to build up your resistance. There are lots of oranges. There's a lot of Portugals out now. Eat it. If you get it, when you get it, eat it. And some of you, like, let us practice community spirit. So some of you might have a pomerang tree by you, or somebody have an orange tree. How about swapping and sharing with each other? My neighbors and I, we do that all the time. Let us practice that. That's another healthy practice. Just swap over your wall and you will get them. All right. So wear your face mask. Safe practices are, are in order. I look forward to seeing your work. I love parents and all those adults who are helping you. I thank you for your support. Adios.